Police are getting help tracking down criminals. There's a new crime lab for the cities of Glendale, Burbank, and Pasadena. CBS 2's Mike Deneau shows us the work that will be done in this new state-of-the-art facility. A knife that had actual uh, blood on it. And uh, it took us about eight months before we finally got the analysis done on that. Glendale Chief of Police Ron DePompa is referring to a key piece of evidence in the unsolved murder of Clifton Cafeteria heiress Jean Clinton Rauschlaub back in August of 2006. The chief says getting DNA results back from the county lab sooner would have helped their investigation. It may clear suspects that we have in mind. It will make the whole investigation that much more efficient help us get on track faster. And now a new state art crime lab will allow Glendale, Burbank, and Pasadena to get DNA and ballistics results back in about a week. For many years, um, women who were raped and then had the rape kit test done uh, found out that their kits just sat on the shelf for years and years. And then a regional crime lab like this will mean that when there's a violent attack, the evidence can be analyzed immediately. The offenders can be identified if they're in the system and they can be taken off the street and the public can be protected. And the new lab will allow these three cities to process DNA immediately for nonviolent crimes. We had this style of burglary occurring months ahead. So had we had the ability to use touch DNA, uh, we may have been able to identify them much, much earlier, break the trend uh, very early on, and obviously, the more rapidly we intercede with the crime trend, the less victims you're going to have. The lab here will be fully operational by the end of May and is expected to process between four to 600 DNA samples per month. From Glendale, Mike Deneau, CBS2 News.